I knew it was going to pay off in the long run. And that's exactly what it did. Um, you know, you showed me a few tips and tricks that I didn't know about, but, um, prior to, I, I was going nowhere. I was nowhere, Eugene, before I came stand out. You know, you have to stand out and you know that there is a way, there's a better way to stand out in tech and establish your authority. And if you follow my conduct for a while, you know, I'm talking about executive presence. You know, I'm talking about creating content. You know, I'm talking about show up as an expert and be the authority and establish your authority in the industry. You know that, you know that you've been following me for me, for me for a while. And in this video, I really would like to break it down. What I do with software developers. If you have not heard it, if you don't know in this video, like I will break it down what I do in my program with software developers and why I do it. So stick around. So in my program, I focus on the executive presence for software developers. And when I say software developers, I mean software developers, QA engineers, tech professionals. So it's easier for me to kind of focus on software developers. But if you are in tech, I, I'm probably talking to you too. I'm probably talking to you too. So, but my main focus, software developers, QA engineers. So executive presence and your executive presence. So like, let's say you enroll in the program and we start working together. So how like how our journey starts? First of all, we take care of the most fundamental and the most important things is your LinkedIn profile and your resume. Uh, if you uh, and your LinkedIn profile is important no matter if you want to land co uh, uh, corporate opportunities or if you want to land uh, clients for your business or clients for your freelance business. LinkedIn is important. Your digital front door is important. And uh, we are going to talk about different uh, social media channels that you can utilize a little bit later. But we, uh, we focus on the foundation. So imagine your career or you as a plane, right? Your career as a plane. So there's a one component. This is your LinkedIn. This is your resume. So the resume is typically not a huge of a problem, but it has to be done and it has to be done correctly because at some point when you lead people to you, they will ask you for your resume. They will they're they, they confident that you can perform the job, but they will ask you for your resume so they can refer you. So and this is and that piece is really important to have so you can communicate with people who are seeing your resume. So LinkedIn resume. And then after that, uh, we're talking about how to strategically network. If you know that you know how to network on LinkedIn, you probably don't. Because if you had this strong network, you wouldn't be in a situation where nobody sees you, nobody notice, notices you, and it takes incredibly long time to uh, to land jobs or clients. So let's just let's just stop right there, okay? If you think that oh I know it, like stop. Listen, um, this is this is where um, we discover strategy who to connect with, because normally there are three layers of connections that you need to have like depending on your uh, goals on LinkedIn and what is related to corporate opportunities, right? You want to have your peers, you want to have recruiters and you want to have hiring managers, right? If you are uh, pursuing different goals, then there are other layers. They're different, like they're, they're a little different strategy to connect with people on LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is, a link for me, LinkedIn is number one. LinkedIn is where I land clients. LinkedIn is where I land jobs. LinkedIn is my all in all. Okay. I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube. I'm on, on Instagram. I don't even want to mention Instagram because like it's uh, at that point, it's, it's just pitiful. Okay. But LinkedIn is my all in all platform. Like I, I go full force and I, I have great results, great tool. So after that, so after we build the plane, so I, uh, strategic networking, um, after we build strategic networking, your network, here's the thing for you to understand when you have the network, right? When you have the network of people that when you connect and establish, start building a relationship, they, they don't know you, they do not know you. And there's a different stages of awareness of your network of you and what you do. So there's an unaware stage, basically like, 
who is this? And okay, they might have similar skill set, they might have similar interests, but who who is this? Like, I don't know that person. From I don't know that person to, oh, I need to work with that person. Or like, oh, hey, I know exactly who needs to talk to you. Or like, hey, you need to talk to that person because they know what, you know, what, what they're talking about. So they, they, they most aware of you, most aware uh, what you can do because there are different stages of awareness, right? O of your network, of your audience. Unaware and aware. Like and the most most aware one. There are different like and there are different there are different straight stages that your network might go through, right? Like but I'm teaching you how to Become the authority in your network, where people know that you go to person for what you do. And this is important. How I teach you that, how do you establish that is through your content. You are not a content creator. If you don't want to be a content creator, if you're like, oh, content is not for me, I'm not a content Listen, you don't have to be a content creator, but this is, this is how you market your skill set. Through your strategic content you market your skill set this is why it is important i teach you the discovery model how to create your content so your network will become most aware of you and know you as go-to person for particular services or particular needs or particular product that like that, that you're doing on linkedin so this is very important when it comes to content I will always, I will always push you to create video content. Video content is the quickest way to develop no like and trust factor in your audience. Um, I do have clients who struggle with it, but it's it's important to understand that you like, and it's important to get, go outside of your comfort zone. If you have different, like if you have different superpower, let's say video is not your know, superpower but you can uh, create a written posts or like utilize leverage different content that people can become most aware of you you still can leverage the same discovery model in your content as long as you're strategic and as long as you are taking people through those stages right as long as you're taking people on the journey with your content and it's possible I, I, I gotta warn you though, because uh, with uh, written content, it will take a little, it will take just a little longer, okay? It will take just a little longer. And also, uh, there is important, like, it is important to know how to structure your written post. So I will teach you how to structure your written post on the LinkedIn. So, um, from unaware to most aware. This is how I land jobs. This is how literally I bounce back from a layoff within a week. And I don't care what you say, it's, it, it, it just works. I, if you look at other successful software developers who are in business right now, who are running their companies, they all create content and they all create video content. Sean Allen, Paul Hudson, um, Algo Expert, they all create video content so start with that video content is the king but there is a way as long as you stick with the like with the framework there is the, the, there is a way to make your uh, uh free um network aware of you through different forms of content and it's okay it's you know it's good to diversify your content too so you don't have to just create videos you can create one video and then link them through the post later so like that there, there are many ways so this is what i teach um people might uh wondering and um, what about technical skills because we, you know we're we're techies we're software developers we ah, technical skills are important to us and technical skills are um, very important indeed so when it comes to technical skills, if you are an iOS developer, hey, like I got, I just got you, okay? I just got you on that because I'm a senior iOS developer. Uh, I have uh, a one of my clients. She is also senior iOS developer. Ooh, listen, this is so good. But you don't have to be, you don't have to be an iOS developer, right, to learn technical skills from me. I teach you how to think.
I teach you how to think. It is important and it's crucial. So, and uh, uh, when I say teach you how to think, we don't necessarily solve algorithms and data structures from link code, but I will give you like I will give you interesting problems that you can solve um, in your programming language, and I will take you. F I will I will guide you how to think about the problem so you can solve in, in the most efficient way and also you ask the most important questions before you before you land there so um this is the like this the, this is the program and that like the purpose is establishing your executive presence and disrupt the industry and who i'm working with i'm working with software developers tech professionals qa engineers who are who have the foundation, who have the foundation. So uh, if you are just entering the tech, you know nothing about tech, you know nothing about coding, like you absolutely zero, and you want to enroll into my program to break into tech and to be the hero and to be like this uh, software developer QA engineer, probably not the best option for you probably not the best option but you have to have a foundation i don't care if you're junior i don't care if you're senior the more senior you are the more legacy you have the more leverage you have right it's, it's going to be just easier for you to just to convert all of the experience of all of the gold that you have into strong authority and uh, if you're not the most senior person it's not a problem and this is a very good opportunity for, for you to build your legacy. Start building your legacy now so you can leverage it later. So um, that, that's kind of who this, who this is for. Also, this is for uh, professionals who are willing to show up. You have to be willing to show up and do the work. You have to be willing to optimize your LinkedIn profile. You have to post content you have to post all link you know okay this is just like this 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 is the this is the requirement because um after after the optimization and uh, i will ask you to add people to your network i will ask you to post content i will always push you to video content so like you you just have to be okay with it and um and curious about it so um because this is the essence. And if you implement it right, it will work for you because um, it worked for me well. And this is like, um, th this is also what my clients are experiencing are. So uh, this is, uh, this is Jennifer. So listen to what Jennifer has to say. So Jennifer, um, I guess my first question, like, can you kind of tell us where you were before joining the program and uh how joining my program affected your professional life affected your perspective in tech industry and affected your perspective on yourself like can you like kind of give us a little bit of background like before and after for sure and i'm so surprised you're not sick of hearing me say that yet because i can't thank you enough for even like allowing me to be here to talk about this um, probably a month ago, which is when you and I began meeting, I would never have been public on a live. So this is actually me going way outside of my comfort zone because I'm super shy and I suffer from a severe case of imposter syndrome. But um, prior to, I, I was going nowhere. I was nowhere, Eugene, before I came to meet you. Notice how Jennifer said that now she has the framework, now she has the how to, now she knows exactly what to do. So I also would like to introduce you to my another client, Becky. And uh, Becky came to my program when she got laid off. And um, literally within what, three lessons, three sessions, she leveraged her power of networking and she landed a job. So listen up. I would like to ask you this. So um, when, um, can you kind of describe your situation before mm -hmm. joining my program, where you were, um, like, and what, what made you to decide to work with me? And you're currently in the program, right? Like, uh, we're still going. And how, like, you're kind of after, after you joined the program. So kind of like your before and after 
um, in how it, it, like how it affected you or how it is affecting you as a person and how it is affecting you as a professional. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when you and I met um, on you know via LinkedIn, I had gotten laid off from my company. Um, I personally was signed side blinded by that. It was something I wasn't expecting. Um, I did see the writing on the wall um, just because of a lot of that is going around right now. It's been going around for a while. Um, So I was really in a hopeless place. Um, I dove into my first job, like head in, like head down, just putting all the work that I could and I stopped networking. And so I was restarting my journey because I thought something was guaranteed and reality it wasn't. So I was not in a good place. I did not have any income coming in and, but I knew I needed mentorship. I knew I needed someone to help guide me. And even though on paper, I didn't have the money, I knew it was going to pay off in the long run. And that's exactly what it did. Um, you know, you showed me extra tips and tricks that I didn't know about. You helped boost my confidence, um, with some other things you helped over my LinkedIn and my resume and just really helped me to get back into a confident space that I knew was deep down in there. But of course, because I had gotten knocked down and, you know, had the wind knocked out of me, it, it pays to have someone on your side. And I absolutely believe in investing in yourself. It's going to pay off and it's going to help you to help others in the long run as well. But, you know, now I just started a job three weeks ago. I love my team. Um, it was from another coworker. Like it's just things are on the up. And then I have, we have so much to still go over and I'm super excited this about it. This program is for professionals, software developers who would like to establish their executive presence and claim back or establish their authority in tech industry, disrupt the tech industry. Listen, if you just need a job, if you just need a job and like you don't want to be the authority, you don't want to establish your executive presence, you don't want to show up, you just would like to land a job and be comfortable, probably not the best option for you either. Probably not the best option for you either because I'm taking you to the mountains where you establish your executive presence. I teach you how to do that. And if you just wanna, if you just wanna fly low on, on the, on the, on the just get a job level, yes, you will land a job. When you enroll in my program, like it's probably most likely that you will land a job because you optimize your profile, you optimize your resume and, uh, you start networking, you know, it works, but you gotta go higher. You gotta establish your executive presence and you gotta establish your authority in tech industry. That's just must. That it just that just is. So um this is what my program is for and who will most benefit from it. Um uh, if you're interested, uh the best way to do it is, uh, first of all, you can fill out the form in my um, description box. Also, it's important to connect with me on LinkedIn. Connect with me on LinkedIn. So if, if we're not connected on LinkedIn yet, just go ahead and connect with me on LinkedIn because this is this is where we're going to work, right? Um, you also got to join my Slack community. If, you, if I haven't mentioned yet, you also going to join my Slack community. So uh, come on in. Um, fill out the form but it's listen it's free to uh, acquire about the program like so you can you can ask about the program in school so um i hope to see you inside of my program and i hope you will be my next success story see you later